I really believe that art should be available to people for free and it should be a part of our world. It shouldn't just be something in museums and um, I, I love that, that people can just go there and it's there for everyone. I would say I'm a multi-dimensional artist. Came out of painting, but uh, have also always really enjoyed tactile, the tactile properties of, of artwork, and um, tile work fits in with that. So I always had an interest in public art. I really believe that art should be available to people for free, and it should be a part of our world. It shouldn't just be something in museums, and I love that, that people can just go there and it's there for everyone. Public art is art with a job to do. It is the place where the architecture meets the public, where the artist takes the mission of the site, takes the meaning of the site, and gives voice to it. We commission sculpture, we com uh, murals, mosaics, last pieces, uh, cut metal, um, many, many different types of materials. It's not just downtown or the big sculptures that you see. We're out in the neighborhoods, and those are some of the most um, beloved kinds of projects that really give um, our libraries and our recreation centers uh, that um, sense of uniqueness and uh, being specific to that neighborhood. So Colette has done a number of those projects for us. One of my favorites is the Ocean View Library, as uh, well as several parks and um, the uh, Aurelius Walker Steps. That was one of the project that was commissioned through, through the city. Uh, so mosaics are um, created with tile that is either broken or um, cut in some way. Um, and rearranged to, to make a pattern. Um, so uh, you need to use uh, a tool, um, nippers, as they're called, these, to uh, actually shape the tiles so that you can get them to fit in correctly. I glue them to mesh, and then um, they're taken, now usually installed by someone, not me, and they put cement on the wall and they pick up the mesh with the tiles attached to it and they stick it to the wall. Um, and then they grout it afterwards. We had never really seen artwork done on a stairway of the kind that we were thinking of um, because our idea was fairly pictorial and to have a picture broken up like that, we weren't sure if it would visually work. So we just took paper that size and drew what our idea was and cut it into strips and took it down there and taped it to the <laughs> steps and stepped back and looked around and walked up and down and, you know, kind of figured out how it would really work visually. My theme was Chinese kites because I find them very beautiful and, and, um, and also because uh, mosaic is such a um, heavy, dense, static medium, and I always like to try and incorporate movement into it. And I work with the theme of water a lot, with wind, with clouds, with just because I like, I like movement and, and lightness. And um, so I kind of liked the contrast of making kites out of this very heavy, hard material. So one side is um, a uh, dragon kite. And uh, then there's, there's several different kites in the sky with clouds and, um, and the little girl below flying them. There are pieces that are particularly uh, meaningful to me. Um, th during the time that we were working on it, um, my son was a kind of disaffected, unhappy high school student. <laughs> there was a day where um, I was on the way to take him to school and he was looking glum as usual. And uh, so halfway to school, I turned around and said, how about if I tell the school you're sick and you come make tiles with us today? <laughs> and 
And uh, so there's a tile that he made. It's a little bird with teeth. The relationship with a work of art is something that develops over time. And if you have memories connected with a place from when you were a child and then you come back and you see it again with the eyes of an adult, that's a different thing. And um, it's, uh, it's just part of what makes the city an exciting place.